The real question is, how do they survive as, a, as an advertising platform um, and a media and content delivery platform? Essentially, it's where a lot of people get their news. How do they survive as that business model when actually their business model depends on the ability to target certain users based on demographic data about their age, where they live, what zip code, and what their interests are, the things that they click like on? Those are all monetizable items. You know, Facebook needs to do more to make its business model, not just its privacy model, much more transparent. I think that this is a widespread issue as we figure out how to appropriately and transparently monetize these businesses without compromising too much of user privacy. Not just the social media platforms have to be rethinking their business models or making them much more transparent, but search engines and even manufacturers of internet browsers need to be aware of this because there's a lot of browser information that could be tracked from site to site. And I think that that is another piece of the privacy puzzle that people don't really think about when they're surfing the web. From a privacy and security standpoint, I think we really need to, to take a hard look at what these business models are offering to us, the users, and what they're taking from us in return. I think it needs to be much simpler and clearer for the average user to understand what of their data is being shared and with whom. I believe Facebook can survive you know, this particular breach of trust. It wasn't necessarily a technical data breach, but it was a breach of trust in accessing this data. Because people find the platform so useful, they'll continue to use it. It's just a matter of time though between now and the next potential breach when there is so much data that's so attractive.